جورجيا ويليام مريمي I am Sheikh Ahmed Al Kabir, the 867th richest person in the world. I have come to invest my money in this poor, deprived island of Great Britain. Follow me as I explore the Middle Western country of Great Britain and find out just how far money can get you. Here in the UK, you just have to always take permission. Like, please, can I? Can I kiss you? Is the question as well. Just yes, you can. Make sure. Oh no, I was not asking a question, but okay. Mm. In Britain, they say that money can't buy you love. But if I can buy ballistic missiles from Britain, surely I can also buy love? A sheikh's lifestyle is cash rich and time poor. So I've created a dating app to streamline the process so that my friends Elon Musk, KSI and I can find love fast. I just needed someone to make it for me. So I met with app developer Mike Wilde. I have an idea for a love app. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you my idea? Do we want to sign a non-disclosure agreement first? Don't worry. Anybody steals my idea, I will buy it off them. And then I'd have them killed. What is the secret to love? Oh, wow. Well, that's the... Um, one of the hardest questions to answer in the world. I think it's... Um... With a bit of money, you can do anything. My love app. No profile picture, no bio. Just a screenshot, of bank account balance. What do you think? Um, well, it, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people are turned on by money and... Um, it could work? Uh, well, you know what? It's such a out there idea that there'd be a lot of people talking about it. Romance with money. Mike's reaction told me I was on the right lines. It was time to take the idea to the street and test it on some real life dates. So I asked Jimmy to find me some single ladies. Would you like to date a sheikh, one of the richest men in the world? It's very rich. Would you like to date in a sheikh, one of the richest men in the world? Would you like to date in a sheikh, one of the richest men in the world? The Big J is the most sophisticated wingman in the business. He organized three dates, all on the same day. As the British like to say, Jim will fix it. What would you do if one of the dates attacked the Sheikh? I will kill them. Try it up. I needed to get some genuine market insight from these ladies, but it's impolite to get straight down to business. So I decided to have a little fun and used my best dating techniques. A conversation topic, cars. Right. How many cars do you have? None at the moment. Don't tell me you've got about 10 cars or something ridiculous. No, I don't have 10 cars. Oh, that's a good thing. I have 20. I knew very little about the customs of this country, but my second date was happy to give me a few pointers. Here in the UK, women are more of in, like they're in charge. So you just have to always take permission before you ask them. So here, they're quite polite. I was like, please, can I? Can I kiss you is the question as well. Just yes, you can. make sure. Oh no, I wasn't asking a question, but okay. Mm. I also got a chance to try out my best chat up lines. When you fell from heaven. Yes. Did you need visa to enter England? Because I no 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 no. Did when you oh, fell stop? from when you fell from? Why don't you stop? A big rule is not to show that you're too keen. Time to channel my inner Pete Davidson. Uh, Joy. Uh, sorry. No way. Uh, love. No way. No. You call me someone else's name. That is a big problem. Why? Jimmy! I've heard that women love men that play games. Jenga. Arlette, tell me about you your favorite me holiday. Why? I will win. Tell I, me oh, you're going to win? I will win. Why? Tell me about your favorite holiday. I will win. Why? I am better. You don't tell me you're going to win first. That's very uncompetitive, isn't it? You should always show a date how well you can move. So if you're with a lady, what are you going to do? Like that? Um, no, you want to be more smooth. Maybe hold on to her waist and just shake it, you know, that kind of, yeah, okay. Okay. What is it with the hand? Booty? Booty. Oh, that's you assuming the booty. Okay. One booty, one booty. 
Oh, you're gonna hold two booties and... Is that how you do it? It was time to drop my idea. I wondered what the ladies would think of it. I have an idea for a dating application. No profile picture. Right. No bio. Just screenshot, bank balance. It's good, no? No. No? No. You do realize how weird this sounds, right? You're supposed to date for love. So why would you be dating someone because they have a certain amount of money? Do you only want people to date you for your wealth? Yes. Well, that's not romantic, is it? Do you not trust but women? I trust women. So long as they are wealthy. You're very dictated by money. Thank you. I had done enough research with these ladies, so I left. Goodbye. Unfortunately, neither of these ladies were capable of seeing the genius behind my idea. I need a vodka. So when it came to date number three, I was not expecting a lot. But this lady was so beautiful. I forgot all about my research and had to calm my nerves with my favorite drink, blue cocktail. Where are you from? Um, I'm from a place called Worcester. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? No. No. Cheers. Cheers. Great small talk. Stay calm, <laughs> Ahmed. Oh, no. Excuse me. Don't dribble. Mm. Please, one more blue cocktail. For some reason, with every passing minute, she became more and more beautiful. My heels, as they say, were well above my head. Can I tell you a joke about butter? You can tell me a joke about anything. I can't, you'll spread it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know why not funny? <laughs> I'll spread. You'll spread it. I spread the butter. Yeah. You must get that joke. I spread butter. You ruined my joke. Who do you tell me one? In my Lamborghini, I switch on the engine. Mm -mm. But sometimes... Huh? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> Why? It makes that noise. <laughs> Just, no, because Lamborghini it makes the sound... <laughs> <laughs> My whole life, I heard you should find someone you can laugh at. But Georgia was someone I could laugh with. I did not understand her jokes or even most of what she was saying. But I was in love and I had to seize the moment. I need to go to the toilet one Okay. Day. Okay. No problem. Big, big, big. Big, big, big. Yeah, really big one. Big one. Big one. Okay, good. Fast, fast. I had to stall her while Jimmy got everything ready. All my life, I dreamed of a woman like Georgia. I was falling in love with her beautiful smile and her boundless curiosity. Georgia, what are your favorite hobbies? Watch Netflix. I kept her talking. And then, finally, Jimmy buzzed me to give me the signal that everything was ready. Georgia, excuse me. I need to go to the toilet again. No problem. Sorry. <laughs> Georgia, will you marry me? I think it's probably a bit too soon for that. I was crushed. The last time I was rejected like this was when I tried to buy Twitter, only for my best friend Elon to beat me to it. Everyone knows he is a rich, handsome white. He wouldn't need my app to find love. But wait, my app! I am rich too! It was in this moment that I remembered Jimmy's wise words. End of the day, you know, if you want to have a relationship nowadays, you need to have a little bit of cash. The ultimate test of my app concept. Would Georgia change her mind if I told her just how disgustingly rich I really am? I am the 867th richest person in the world. Oh, wow. I mean, it's a nice ring. Want to see? <laughs> I'll look at it.
It's a nice ring. <laughs> we are engaged. Although my first two dates were duds, I managed to find love the old-fashioned way by telling a woman I have billions of pounds. And as an added bonus, I proved my app idea is a success. I was right all along. Finding love is very easy. You just have to be really, really rich. Best of luck to everybody to find love. Join me next time as I make more money in Great Britain. <laughs>